Okay. Um, let's jump back into Unreal. So, where was I? Okay. Um, the last I had set up, I had created this uh, virtual camera, which... Where am I? All assets. There we go. So I had created this virtual camera, which um, I was going to control with this controller. And I added a few more things, like this, uh, see in the top left here, focal length. So as I zoom in, uh, oh, zoom is this trigger. As I zoom in, it will display the focal length to me. And this is still wired up to the, uh, the camera position. It's a little shaky. And then this is still focus. So we can zoom out, turn, focus. I'll probably put focus on here as well, but the idea is that this controller will be used to set up the shot generally, like striking the set. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, setting up the scene, like if you're recording, if you're recording in front of a green screen, you're going to be moving this controller like around the room and the chances of it just happening to line up with where you want the camera is pretty small. So rather than fussing with it, what's you, what you do is you just take this controller and move around. Like once this is set up by the green screen, you just move this controller around to, uh, you just move this controller around to kind of like frame the shot exactly where you want it. And then this can take over. But there's a very, very frustrating problem, which the green screen I'm using is facing this direction in the room and my computer's facing this direction. So when I'm programming, the controller has a certain orientation. Now I would like to use the same motion tracking setup, but when, watch what happens. When this turns, so with this face forward, I'm gonna push up on the controller and I move forward. I'm gonna turn the controller backwards now and I'm gonna push up on the controller and now I'm moving backwards. So what's really happening, I can explain it, is pretend my phone here is a uh, like a, a platform and pretend uh, this pen, or maybe you can't see that well enough, another motion controller. See the, the, the hole? That's the front of the camera. So as the motion controller moves, the camera just moves no problem. But the con this Xbox controller doesn't control this at all. It controls the platform it's standing on. So what happens is normally it just slides along. So they work, they can work together without interfering with each other. Here's the problem though. I'm looking through the camera as I'm navigating. So if the platform is like this, this is the front of the platform. When I push forward on the Xbox controller, it goes forward. Now, if this were to turn and look backwards, forward is now going backwards from my perspective because it's the platform that gets moved by the Xbox controller and not, not this. It's, it's not gonna cause any problems, like everything should work, but it's annoying because if, if you've got this set up facing backwards and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna tweak the scene forward a bit. Oh, the left and right is what really like messes you up. That's hard to get. So what we're gonna try to do, and I have no idea how to do this, is adjust the motion so that the controller always moves you in the direction that the camera is facing, but it's going to move the platform. And okay, I realize that if this camera is jiggling and this is trying to move, it's gonna go all over the place. So I'm also gonna add a button I don't know, one of these buttons to disable this uh, motion controller input. So why don't we do that first? That sounds easier to do. Uh, where's my mouse? Oh yeah, I gotta hit escape to get out of here. All right, 
So I think to, to innate, so we want a button. Let's pick B. B, B feels like the type of button I would use. So when I hit B, um, so it's in this virtual camera that we're gonna set up. And I, uh, I labeled, I went in and labeled stuff for all the, all the various motions that this, ca this camera and rig support. So, uh, okay, first thing I need to go into project settings, input, and create a new action mapping. So ac axis mapping is for things where you always, it's, it's actually gonna always fire these events. So, um, and, and action mappings is for like, it happened or it didn't. So axis would be for things that are like, these analog control sticks, like forward a little, back a little, and it will give you a number between like zero and the number that's registered in here, so one. I don't know what happens when you set it above one, but for the analog sticks, it will give you a range in between zero and one, which is nice. But for these buttons, we don't want that. We don't want like, oh, the button's being put. We just want like button push, button released. So I'm gonna add that to an action mapping, and I will call this, uh, uh, lock view, Cine lock view, and gamepad. Ooh, I don't know what button it is. Left shoulder. So the shoulder. Is there. Ugh. Can I just type like B button? Oculus touch B button, gamepad face button bottom. Oh, it's probably this. Uh, because this gamepad I think works, it could be any gamepad, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. I think that the face is referring to this. I can't think of what else it would be. So we want the right button. Let's try that. Uh, there's an easy way to confirm it. So I'll just make a thing that is like in a lock view, pressed, uh, print, pressed button, compile this, save, play, all right, ready, press button, there it is, all right, you nailed it, good job. So what I'm thinking is this is going to toggle a, a variable. So I'm going to create a new variable called lock view. Okay. And when we press it, it so that's a Boolean. So we're going to uh, branch on lock view. And if true, we're going to set cine lock view you know what I bet I can just nod it I bet there's a knot not boom shakalaka all right uh, I think that takes care of this let's comment this And then uh, all we got to do, all we got to do is, uh, first of all, I want to set this to, uh, sorry, compile it first and it's false by, by, by default. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to, here I'm going to branch uh, and basically if, if it's locked, then don't do the motion control. So the way this is gonna work is, uh, now this is the motion controller, this is this thing. And it's just gonna check that variable and if the variable is true, it will do nothing and it will not update the motion. And if it's false, it will update this. Okay, no problemo, play. Okay, we can see it's working. B, frozen, and I can move around. Yeah, press B again, and it's back. Hey, that's working pretty good. 
Um, so now here's a thought. I think that up. I was going to say maybe up and down should move the camera. Yeah, let's try that. But only when the view is locked. So if you notice, let me explain the problem. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna point this. Okay, I'm gonna point this up and then lock the view. Now I can't look down. So what I want is this this up and down, which is unused, to tilt the camera up and down. But only when. Uh, but only when this is locked, if that makes sense. So I gotta first go back, create a new input. And this is where I start. I added all of these manually. This is going to be an axis mapping because it's not just like up or down. There's like a throttle. Cine, I don't know what to call it, up. So I usually call it the positive direction. So up, I'm guessing, is the positive direction, I hope. Um, and then this is going to be right thumbstick y-axis. And then we want down to be the opposite of this direction. So right thumbstick thumb. Thumb has thumb y-axis. Uh, oh, if it's y-axis, maybe, I, I think this will actually take care of it. I think it'll go one in the one direction. I, well, when in doubt, okay, cine up. Um, cine up. Oops, cine up. And then let's just print the value. So what you'll find is when you run this, it's going to be printing continuously to the screen. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to push all the way up minus 1, all the way down 1. Okay, so we should call this cine down, but whatever. And then if I push a little bit, you'll see that it kind of ratchets up between 0 and 1. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. But I am going to call this cine down because fix your technical debt as you go. I think I could have also just made this scale minus one. I don't know. Okay, now this I think will no longer work. Send it down. And just, just, just to make sure, I'm going to hit play. So up, minus, down, one. Send it down. All right. So what are we doing with that? We want to adjust the. So let's get the cine camera because that's what we want to adjust. Um, so why don't we pull off the get relative transform? And then this is going to include its uh, rotator. So we just want to adjust the, uh, I think the pitch. So why don't we add, sorry, let's multiply. This is a float. It's just a single number. I'm going to scale it by a certain value, like 10, and we can adjust that. And then I'm going to add this to this value. This value will be the, like between zero and one how or sorry between minus one and one like how hard we're pushing it and then we'll uh, I think we have to make a rotator and no not from roll this is going to be the pitch and then we should use the roll and the yaw the yaw and then uh, set relative rotation and sure it's the same cine camera as this it doesn't make a difference and then oh yeah but this action line needs to exist 
Uh, oh, oh, yeah, and then we need to do the... So this is going to work all the time, and if this is fighting with this, it's going to be a problem. So what we should do is branch, and we should only fire this next one if the display is locked. And then um, what we could do later is if you try to use it while the display is locked, we can show a message. Um, I'll just get this, this lock view. Perfect. Compile that, run it. And, uh, okay, nothing because it's not locked. But why isn't this going? Oh. I think it was not seeing the motion tracker. All right, it is locked now and it's going bananas. So I've done something wrong. Let's go back. So if it's locked, take this. Oh, I see what I did. I don't know if everyone sees it. So I'm trying to scale the input so that if you push it, it's not just going in like one unit increments. It's bigger. It'll it'll move faster up or down. That's not what I did. I scaled the existing pitch by 10. So it's just going to be rolling in like 360 circles endlessly. This I just take in. This I need to multiply. There we go. Thanks for... Whoever's watching this, they're probably banging their seat. All right, that's 10. So if it's zero, if it's not moving, it's still zero and the pitch doesn't change. All right. <laughs> All right, so now let's lock it. And hey, look at that, it's working. Except it's sort of a, uh, I mean, this is to, to taste, but up, goes down and down goes up and I think I want it the other way so let's go back in here and there's a bunch of ways you could solve this what I'm going to try and do is flip the input you know what it was cinna up all along. so I'm going to call this minus one and this will either just work or create a whole heck of a mess Lock, up, down. Okay, it totally worked. So I think it's now scaling, instead of going between minus one and one, it's going between one and minus one. So uh, up, if it was subtracting, is now adding, and down, if it was adding, is now subtracting. Now when I lock this, though, it should immediately flip back to where this was, which makes sense. So watch, I'm going to turn around and look down, unlock, it immediately flips back to this. Oh, that's interesting. So wait, if I turn, lock, turn, unlock, lock, okay. Yeah, so it's flipping. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what we want. Um, we want it to... Like, I don't... W one thing I'm trying to avoid is where I can use this controller to look up and down, and then it offsets this controller. Because then I'll forever be like, this is straight. Why isn't it straight on the on the sh on the thing? So this is just overriding. It's It's just that when you lock it, to like look around you can readjust your view and this is temporary this is like oh i just couldn't see the ground so here i'm gonna go like stand on this bridge and then when i unlock it this has full control again so if i look down i'm on the bridge um and from here though if i want to turn okay there we go so this is the first set of problems solved. The second set should still remain true where if I flip this backwards and I press, hold on, I'm going to lock it so I can reorient myself. And then if I press forwards, I'm going backwards. See how that works? I also realize when I lock it, I'm on like an angle. So what I should do is when I lock it, 
I should set the roll to zero. I think I'm actually going to do that quickly. So what I will do is I'll do it in here. Um, so set the lock to true and then um, oh, I got to do like a get rotator. This might take a minute. So let's drag the camera in, get relative rotation, uh, transform, variables. I'm a little confused. I think this will work, but it, it's scary and unfamiliar. I'm just gonna use this function, which I understand. Split. And then, uh, can I break this? Here we go. And then make rotator. And then keep the pitch, keep the y'all. I just want to say y'all in, in an accent. I probably shouldn't. Okay. And then that relative set relative rotation and then this can go here so if the camera when I lock it it should go flat like if I was on a Dutch angle let's try it so lock yeah that's so much better for looking around okay now I have this problem of like I'm <laughs> pushing forward and I'm going back on an angle that's so annoying okay now let's fix this but let's first think about the problem a little bit so um let's grab some paper Well, actually, I'm just going to use this pad. <laughs> so <laughs> the pad is, this is controlled by the controller. This is the camera. Now, if I move, so the way I want to do this is if I move the camera, I, I don't want, uh, so this part is the forward part. Now, if, I, if everything is facing forward and lining up, great. Pushing forward should go forward. Now, let's pick the easiest case where it's flipped the other way. So this, if I push forward, I want it to move the pad backwards. I don't want the pad to suddenly turn with it, or do I? Huh. That might make it easier. No, I'm gonna leave the pad where it is. I like the idea of that, but um, so the pad is the. So what I should do is take the. So when I press forward, there's like a. I'm calculating a vector that's going this way. What I then want to do is rotate the vector according to the camera. Yes, yes, that's totally it. So I think I get it. Where is move forward and back? Let's just start with forward and back and then left and right will be the same thing. So let's, let's make it, let's pull it out here. Give it more space. I probably won't need that much space. Um, so one thing I'm going to need to, so this gets the forward vector of the platform. The platform is the actor. And then what I want to do is get the cine camera. 
and get relative transform. We're cooking now. And then after I get, so this, this here is the, the new, yeah, this is the vector of motion. This isn't the world position. So this, this works. I just want to rotate this. So rotate vector. It's got to be a rotate vector. Hey, look at this. Uh, let's just try plugging this in and seeing what happens. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe that was it. Let's just try it though. All right. So let's do the case where everything should be the same. This tracker, if this is too far forward, the tracker doesn't seem to see it. I, I haven't set up a second tracker yet, so it's finicky. All right, forward, backward. Okay, good, but that's how it worked before. Now let's try facing 360, forward. Oh my God, it works. Let's try in between, forward, backward. And let's just, okay, now I'm just holding forward and I'm using this to navigate. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's, I would not, you know, recommend. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at this. So this is letting me like go into the sky and fly around. Okay, I actually think we don't want that. So where am I? Oh, the town's right there. Oh, look at the town from like way up here. Um, now I have no way of getting back down, I believe, unless I'm already. That's funny. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I do based on where, okay. I just want to stay at ground level. Um, I want a separate mechanism for moving up and down. So here's the problem. The problem is that this rotator from this, I'm saying take your forward vector and rotate it to match the camera, but I actually only want to rotate part of that vector. So what I want to do is break this again and then make rotator. And I'll plug this into here and then it should work but uh, so I want to match the yaw that's the this way I don't want to match anything else though I'm going to leave them at zero let's give that a try so forward All right, and now I should also try, I'm gonna rotate the platform and try forward. Huh? Seems to be working. Okay, now I don't think left. Yeah, left and right aren't working, which we didn't change them yet. Look at that, I made, <laughs> look at how much space I thought this would take, all right. Let's move that back. And then this can go here. Just the same space. And I'll just copy this into here. This goes in there. I think I need to zoom in. And this goes in there. I think everything is the same. Okay, let's make this like this way. So it should go, yep. Yeah, it's way more intuitive now. Lock it. Unlock it. Yeah, this 
this is shaping up nicely. I like this. Okay. So just to review, um, what did we add? We added, uh, let's, let's just, let's play it and let's play it bigly, bigly screen. So bring this back here. Uh, we had forward and back and left and right and all that working, but what we added was the ability to like, if you're trying to fine tune it and this is jiggling, press B, locks the view. This feels slower. I think, right? This feels slower. Whatever, I'll fix that later. Um, and then I can adjust it and I can adjust like, so if I was facing up when I locked the view, I can look back down. Uh, if I was roll, rolled, locking the view like pulls that back. So you can like, you know, frame, frame up where you want your platform for the shot. And then the last part was if you were moving forward and this started to go in a different direction, you will always move forward in the direction that this is facing. So with all three of those things, oh yeah, it's so slow. Um, yeah, I think we've got like a nice little like position the shot, I don't know, piece here. Let's add a comment. What was this piece? Um, input axis center down. Oh yeah, this is the like pitch. So let me save this, compile, save the project. Okay, I think that's, I think that's, that's everything for now. That's today's update.